Howdy folks, back at it again. We got another Unity video. We're just gonna pick up where we left off with the last video. And we're gonna learn a little bit about components today. So if we click on an object, either with the scene panel here or with the hierarchy panel, these things here, each one of these little sub panels here are our components. Now they're pretty obvious for uh, a basic object, but we're gonna learn how to add new ones today. So if I want my ball to fall onto my panel, well, let's try to do that. So we're going to grab the ball and hold control to move it up and hold things. And then I'm going to test our game. We might not have done this yet, but we can use this play button here and that's just going to play our game. So let's play our game right here. And as soon as it loads, nothing happens. Hmm, that's weird. There's a shadow of the ball there. There's no ball on the screen. Let's just move that ball a bit down so we can see it in the camera. Try playing our game again. Still nothing. It's just floating there. That's because we haven't told the game to do anything, right? Some games you might want certain objects to float around, like if you had clouds or something like that. In other games you want them to fall. So we want to tell Unity that we want to make this ball fall. And we're going to do that through our uh, inspector panel here adding components so if we click on this add component button right here or on the sphere it's highlighted on the, the scene panel here we add a component and we're gonna add a physics component there's all sorts of, of components we can add here but we're gonna do physics for now because we want it to fall the name of the uh, unity special physics engine that allows for gravity is actually called rigid body so we're going to click on rigid body there and it's added our rigid body component. Now when we press play, the ball is going to fall. There we go. That's pretty exciting. We just created our first, I don't know, moving object in a game. That's pretty neat. It doesn't do anything from there, but that's pretty cool. Uh, I'm just going to go around to my camera here and I am going to... Pull the camera back slightly so that we can see this whole scene here. There's a little preview for the camera up there, which is quite handy for what we're trying to do. Um, we'll keep previewing our game here. It's not, not a whole lot's going on. So we're going to learn to add a couple other uh, components here. So we have our rigid body here. Um, we have something called a, a collider. So a collider is a component that makes it so that something collides with it. So both our plane here and our sphere here have a collider. If we were going to turn one off, let's turn off the one on and with the little checkbox here. I can turn it off. I don't have to delete it right away. I can just turn it off. If I check that, and so it's not existing anymore, we're going to test it without the collider and press the button. What do you think is going to happen? I'm at the edge of my seat. It goes right through and if we had a camera that was way back we can see the ball is just going to keep falling forever because we turned the collider off we made it so that uh there it was like an uh, uh um an object with no uh no substance to it so if you wanted a, uh, an invisible wall or a cloud or something like that that's how you do it so let's turn that back on and we'll just do one more uh, thing in this video here, which is going to create a material. So we're going to create a custom component in a way. Uh, Unity's that built in, so it's not that custom. But So let's go here to our, uh, our sort of project uh, file system. So we have a scenes folder right now. That's where you're going to store each of your scenes or levels. I'm going to create a new folder here. I'm going to call that folder materials. I'm going to use Unity's convention of having a capital M and I'm going to double click on the materials folder I just created. Okay, so now I have an empty materials folder. I'm going to create a new material in there. So I'm going to right click, create, go down to material. I'm going to call this material red and here I have my inspector panel here. It's got all sorts of options. I'm just going to keep it really simple. Click here, click on red, and then I'm going to drag red onto my ball. I can go here, create another material. 
create a material called, I don't know, what color do you want? Sickly green. So I'm going to go here for sickly green. Up here, go to green. That's like a mint. Uh, sickly green would be more yellow, I think. There we go. That's a good sickly green. And then we're going to drag sickly green onto our plane and play. And ball is going to fall. Just want to show you one more thing. That's sort of a green panel with a red ball now. If we go back to our uh, plane or our ball, you can see it's added that as a component in our inspector menu now as well. You can even go ahead and change the things in your inspector panel if you want to change it slightly so it's a different color red and it should automatically change it if I want to change it now to a purple it's not gonna make sense with my name and my materials folder but you can go ahead and change the names control Z that because I want that as red okay uh, one thing I forgot to mention earlier that would be really good is that you could change the actual component part of the uh, rigid body you can change your mass you can make the ball hundred times heavier if you wanted to you're just basically messing with the physics. Uh, it's not going to matter right now because you only have one object, but you could go ahead and do that. If you ever find that you've really messed things up, you've really uh, changed the physics so that they don't make a lot of sense anymore, you can go to this gear over here on your panel and hit reset, and it will go back to its defaults. So go ahead and create some uh, materials, create some colors, create a few different objects, maybe change the physics on some of them, and see what happens.